Assalamu alaikum everyone. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel, A Lifestyle with Nazar. This is Nazar Shmalek. I hope you all are doing well. Uh, so guys, today it's uh, Monday morning. I woke up kind of early. I prayed um, Fajr and then, you know, I couldn't go back to sleep. So I thought, let me just, um, you know, make a vlog and uh, Noor just left for her college so I was up and I was like that's a good time to speak to all of you so as you know that I did my last vlog on the topic of how to build a healthy relationship so I thought let's talk about today uh, about the importance of feminine energy in a relationship for the girls or for the women because you know we all learn through our mistakes and then we realize like maybe if i would have done so you know guys that we all learn from our mistakes and sometimes we then think about we recap everything and we replay and then we realize that you know being a woman i wish i would have handled it in a more feminine way but uh, what happens is sometimes when you are dealing with things on your own, everything, and you know your masculine energy gets over your feminine energy and then you act from that energy and sometimes it's not helpful. So let's talk about how feminine energy, what are the three main things that feminine energy we can imply in our relationships especially for girls or women i think most important thing about feminine energy is that you bring the feminine and the soft side of yourself out and you know you deal with everything. i think the the main thing that feminine energy brings to the relationship is you sit back in your own soft energy and it 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 just waits you know for things to happen and it helps the uh, masculine energy to take control of things so for example uh, if we want something to happen we would just let the man lead uh, the thing and we would just sit back in our feminine energy and we will let the man take a role of uh, deciding things take a role of uh, playing a part in planning things and you just you know it's a push and pull kind of situation so when you are more in your feminine energy and you are aware of it i think it's going to help the man to take the lead and it's going to help in de decreasing i think it will help in decreasing the conflict because when a female gets into the masculine energy then it's the same energy that collide with the male and then it creates such a big conflict and uh, I just have realized from my personal experience that you know it is very very important to be aware of our feminine energy and to stay in that unfortunately what happens is when women are playing different kinds of roles they are being parent they are being the breadwinner they are being uh, homeowners they are taking care of things they are doing work they are doing jobs you know they automatically just shift into the masculine energy and then sometimes when they interact in their relationship then they are coming forth from that kind of energy and they forget that you know they have to shift their energy from mask they forget that they have to shift their energy towards more softer side towards the feminine side and now they can just lay back and now it's not their job to lead everything but you know what at the end of the day i have realized that uh, you know when people make promises to each other when men or women make promises to each other that no matter what i'm gonna you know fight for you or i'm gonna stand by you and i'm never going to leave you so in every relationship the conflicts will arise and there will be fights and there will be ups and downs but whether it's a dating uh, uh, stage whether it's the engagement stage whether it's the marriage stage i think 
only those relationships can work out when the two people are i think only those relationships can stand strong and they can survive in which no matter you 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 just pass all the hiccups and you feel like what is more important is you two being together and all these ups and downs all these arguments all these uh, you know the lash outs they are temporary they are gonna go away because especially when it's a long distance relationship you don't know what any of the partner is going through sometimes one partner is going through tougher situation than the other and the other partner does not have too much of a, a clue and then you know the misunderstandings happen and Sometimes people who have made so many promises, then they forget about all of that and then they react from that one particular situation on the basis of that. So the, they react on the basis of that one conflict and sometimes they say, you know, I can't take it anymore and they just forget of all about the beautiful uh, bond that they have established over the months. and. Uh, all those things that they have shared with each other and then it's it's kind of that becomes painful for the other partner so I guess um, staying like together because marriage is all about going through the hard times because when you are happy when in your when you are in your lana land everybody is gonna be with you everybody is going to tell you they love you they are gonna stick by you they are gonna be there for you but you know when some difficult times come and when people stick together during those times those marriages last those uh, relationships last even during i just feel like there is so much to learn about this topic you know no matter how older we get we still learn we still uh, you know uh, get we learn from our mistakes we try to you know improve ourselves through our mistakes and sometimes we don't realize that uh, how we are reacting to the situation and then one once we sit down with the peace of mind and then we analyze the situation and then we figure out okay you know this could have handled this way and this could have done this way so i guess we all are humans we all sometimes lose our tempers and i think it's best to to just analyze yourself and instead of blaming each other and I think people who do that in a relationship, uh, when they analyze it themselves. So the bottom line, I think, is, um, guys, that give each other space. Give each other um, always a benefit of doubt and do listen to each other. And do not just jump into the conclusion on the basis of one event or two events, you know. Uh, people could be going through different things people could be uh, having difficulty and just you know being there for each other and not leaving each other's hands in the difficult situations and going through the hiccups together that's what makes the relationship last because let me nobody is perfect in this world this concept of a perfect man or a perfect woman it doesn't exist you have to make each other perfect for each other it's a combined effort it's a team effort and for girls for ladies for women i would like to tell them that uh, try to work on your feminine energy more and more you know i don't think so it's really hard sometimes it just we 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 are human beings and we forget how to shift our energy you know in the beginning of the relationship we are so aware of our feminine energy that we are just automatically working from that perspective but then slowly slowly you know as the responsibilities kick in we just forget and then we start acting from our masculine energy so try to you know as you proceed in your relationship try to keep your feminine energy alive be aware of it and then act from your feminine energy it's going to help you a lot so let me know how did you like the topic i just woke up early and i think i'm gonna head to the gym 
and i thought i would talk to all of you guys let me know guys how did you like the topic and uh if you didn't like it do press the thumbs up button do subscribe to my channel and you know at the at the end of the day we all are humans we all make mistakes and when we own our mistakes that's when we learn and that's when we improve ourselves and i know things hurt um things sometimes hurt bad but then we have to you know move forward and um people who would really love you people who would care for you they are going to stick by you and people who make um real promises they stick by them and you know stick by those people who make real promises and who who want to be with you with all your flaws so that's a very important fact because nobody is perfect everybody have flaws so that's all for today and i will see you in the next video and uh, i think i'm gonna head to the gym after this because uh, boys are sleeping and Noor has already gone to college my hard working girl so take care of yourself and your loved ones it's almost the hajj it's going to be eid very soon so i wish you all a happy eid in advance i will see you in the next vlog take care take care of your parents and please be nice to people and keep your promises alive don't break them take care Allah.